All right, well, scientists at UCSD have created a scent that they say is irresistible to coral, and it could help rebuild reefs around the world. In today's Earth 8 report, I'm introducing you to one of the researchers diving into that new surprising science. So these are the, the tanks. Inside a small and temperature controlled room at UCSD's Scripps Institution of Oceanography. We are increasing the temperature in these tanks. Associate researcher Daniel and his team start their day tending to an unusual nursery. They feed on little tiny particles. Tanks filled with baby coral. It's our approach to enhance the growth. These corals are part of a series of experiments aimed at reviving reefs threatened by warming oceans. Are they looking good? Pollution and disease, the main drivers of coral bleaching. Bleaching is basically a stress response. When coral gets sick, essentially, um, it loses the main compartment that produces energy. So it's, oh, you can imagine like an engine. And um, so these are tiny microscopic algae that live inside the animal. And primarily when it gets too hot, those algae are expelled from the tissue. And so then that makes the coral weak and can lead to death. Now, Daniel and his team have a new tool. This liquid, especially because when you shine light on it, becomes jelly. Snap X, a scented gel that can be painted or sprayed onto damaged reefs or even 3D printed attachments like this one, made in their lab. We try to create an environment that the baby coral likes. Coral larvae are picky where they settle. They look for chemical cues from healthy reefs. SnapX uses natural chemicals from crustus coralline algae to mimic those cues. On a degraded reef or an artificial reef, you don't have these chemical signals, or you have less of those, but you might have signals that come from competitive algae that actually deters the coral larvae from settling. So you get an individual animal from the entire colony. In lab and field tests, coral treated with SnapX attracted 20 times more larvae than untreated surfaces. It works immediately and lasts up to a month. We've studied the main reef building corals in Hawaii and showed that these scents work for this coral, but we have more work to do. Daniel and his team also developed Coral Guard. To enhance the survivorship of the recruits. It's a protective coating that blocks harmful competitors from growing over new coral. And they've created a new particle that could reduce coral bleaching by lowering toxic stress chemicals inside the coral. And the best part, all of it, including SnapX, is made with natural biomaterials, essentially taking from nature to give back to nature. The causes of reef degradation are man-made, so why shouldn't the solutions be man-made as well? For anyone that has been diving on a reef, you know the beauty. There's a high aesthetic value. Coral reefs are hotspots of biodiversity. About one quarter of all marine life of biodiversity is hosted in, in coral reefs. And at the same time, they are also a powerhouse in terms of the ecosystem goods and services they provide. Daniel said research is promising, but funding is critical to keep it moving forward to learn more about this project or how you can donate because, of course, funding crucial, as I just said, uh, head to CBS8.com.